Okay, my friends, we are going to start now building the whole Dutch bucket system. Um, I have uh, now picked up, I picked up 20 buckets because I wasn't exactly sure how many exactly I would need, but uh, I ended up using 13. Um, so let me uh, see if I can. Okay, so now you're seeing all 13 buckets. So they start here all the way along here just simple two by four benches uh, and then there'll be a siphon filter at the very end that I'm gonna make out of a bucket too um, haven't uh, got all the parts for that part that'll be a completely separate video to build that uh, little tank filter um, so yeah so there's all the buckets uh, I have a buddy that owns home hardware in this town and uh, he helped me out so every little bit helps with this project because at the end of these this little series here We'll kind of do a rundown on how much it costs to start a system like this because it's a lot more than most people think and yes you will get it back over time and that's great and we will be selling a lot of this food so it's you know it will pay itself off and thanks to you guys you know I was able to afford to, to do this I use my YouTube money to put towards all of this and you know better uh, better my life so um, okay so we got the 13 buckets uh, I picked up these little grommets on Amazon. Um, I will. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to all the stuff that I found on Amazon. Um, then I also picked up two lengths of three-inch ABS. Um, a whole entire bucket full of fittings. And uh, and for my drain, I'll be using this uh, CPV stuff. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it's called. It's like, it's a little bit cheaper than uh, PVC and it fits these grommets just perfect. So um, yeah, so that's the plan. So right now I'm gonna start drilling uh, my 7 8 hole in each one of these pails and then uh, I'll bring you back. And I'm just using a uh, 7 8 speed bit because I couldn't find a 7 8 uh, hole saw. So. I mean, it, it really doesn't matter what you drill a hole with, so uh, as long as the grommet fits nice and tight, which they will. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna get drilling these holes and, uh, and then we'll be back and we'll put the grommets in and we'll actually put a bucket together and then you can kind of take a look. And then uh, we'll feed it into these tubes, which will also, when they're hanging along the edge of the bench, between each bucket, there will be a strawberry plant or maybe every other one. We're not sure yet exactly. We've got uh, three inch net cups that will fit inside there. To, uh, to help with, you know, just taking up more space in the greenhouse. We might as well utilize everything we have. So, all right, we'll be back here in a little bit. Okay, my friends, uh, the, <laughs> the little grommets are actually very simple to put in. Um, just go around, you clean up the edge first. And then the way these ones are shaped are actually perfect because they're, they're kind of tapered so that when you go to slide them in the hole, You just kind of work it around and they slip right in perfect just like that and then I normally look inside the bucket and make sure that you know you just give this a little flick down in here to make sure that it's you got a nice seal around and uh, there you go so now I just got three more to do and uh, yeah you can see them all there and then we'll get to the point of putting the the pipes together and uh, all of that so exciting I'm getting really excited it's it's a season for growing so we need to get this set up okay guys now we're going to put together an actual bucket now um, so what I've done is I've just cut a bunch of pieces this is the part that's gonna go through the uh, the actual bucket and now the bucket I measured up two inches from the bottom and that's where I drilled my hole and yeah I'm a little you know ADD because everyone's in exact same spot on the front of these buckets but whatever uh, so what I do is to, you want to soften up that edge um, I'm actually cutting with uh, these cutters here and that's it leaves a pretty clean cut like there's no burrs or anything but at the same time when you're pushing it through that grommet you don't want it to cut up that grommet so you're just gonna take it this is some uh, 120 sandpaper you're just gonna kind of run it over just to soften it up and then you end up with a edge that's a lot softer. And then I'm just, you can put it in soapy water or just water. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna shove it through this grommet. 
just like so and just kind of spin it as you're putting it through and it'll make it expand. There. And now if you look inside, it's coming through that side. So on the inside, you're going to take your elbow and you're going to place it over the inside, which is about an inch, a little less than an inch up from the bottom of the barrel. And then the, the other side, you're going to put your your angle on there, your elbow, and then it will sit on the edge of this. And once I've got my three inch ABS up across here, I will just run different length pipe so that it runs into the main pipe, into the main drain. So now I'm just going to go ahead here with my son who's kindly recording for me right now. We're going to uh, go through and we're going to put these in every single one. And then we're going to move on to uh, hooking up the three inch ABS and plumbing it into the sump tanks. So we'll be back here in a little bit. Okay, my friends, uh, I've got now the whole bucket system together. Um, all I did obviously was just hang this pipe. Uh, I used plumber's tape there. Um, so it goes all the way down and then I used a reducer to get from the three inch down to the inch and a half and then made my own bulkhead out of this this here and it worked good with this uh, this RTV silicone. And then, uh, so yeah, like I said, it's all just hanging with this all around or plumber strap or whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, so it goes on a slight angle all the way down just to, uh, you know, keep a good flow. And then, like I said before, we're gonna drill holes in between these and we're gonna grow herbs and uh, and probably a lot of strawberries along there too. So that'll be kind of like our strawberry tower. So um, <clears throat> uh, I did put it just a cap here so that that can be pulled off for, uh, to flush the pipe out. Um, so simply, as you've seen before, that's it inside. So pretty simple that they can be lifted off and, uh, and quickly reasserted back into the hole, just like so. And I keep mine <clears throat> a two by four width apart is how I did my spacing. Um, I think that gives adequate room to, to grow and like there's going to be eventually webbing up on the top for all of this to grow up and then it'll add shade in the uh, in the summer. But it's really came along. The next thing um, is is. I will, uh, we're gonna do the filter, which probably I won't include, this will be a completely separate video to do the actual filter build. And then we'll uh, come back and uh, I'll include it in this video, all the piping that runs across all the top, <clears throat> all there. I am waiting for another eight valves to come in so that uh, I can finish this up. But uh, yeah, so uh, I'll bring you back here once, uh, once I've got the bucket done and then we, we can start running these uh, back pipes here and then we'll uh, all said and done we'll do a test and make sure all the flow is right and yeah we'll go from there. Okay so uh, I'm working on the filter part I am going to include it in this part of the video. Um, so all I've done now is I've made a little stand just at the end of the table that's higher than the rest of the uh, the runoff here so and uh, I will be putting a, another one of these grommets maybe up at the very top of the bucket or something like that so that if this bucket ever does start getting over full because if something gets plugged up or god knows what but at least it'll have some kind of overflow that can come back down to this tank but i want to keep it high enough that it's not going to be a regular thing so um so yeah now i just have those two uh i have my white pecs here uh, you don't want to use the red or the blue because they're see-through kind of so this uh, white stuff isn't and uh, It works great um, So now it's going to run up and inside the tank to about here Maybe around here or so and then this is going to be for a tap We'll come out this so I can drain the solids out of it and then the other one is going to come in and down to about halfway down to the bottom there so um, yeah, so that's that's where I'm at right now. Um, I'm gonna run first run the pecs across here and uh, kind of cut it at my first joint because 
it's going to have to be cut from there anyway. So I might as well get my first joint together and then uh, I'll kind of walk you guys through it after I get a bit more done. Okay, my friends, uh, I've got the bucket pretty much done. Uh, you can see I have a little drain out valve. This will actually be hooked to another set of pipes that will go out. Sorry about this mess. This is, was my workshop before, so now everything's gone in this corner, but it's going to come out and underneath the greenhouse and there'll be zucchinis and other plants planted on the outside. So that filtered, you know, the, the fish crap, I guess, it will, uh, will be all flushed out there. Um, so inside, I've ran the pecs up through that grommet right there. And uh, I've used a, two different fittings to make the opening a lot larger so it can take in more water. It'll keep more pressure. Um, and then now, sorry, just let me spin you around here. Uh, so now it comes up from my pump and my fish tank. It'll come up along here. And then uh, it, it comes down here, across here and down and now I've got it aimed so that it will cause a, uh, a vortex inside which will cause the sediment to go down to the bottom to where that clean out is and it'll go pretty much right to the center so that's why that pipes in the center there and then uh, yeah and then that cycle will continue and this will have a lid on it I just haven't got to, uh, to pick one of those up but uh, yeah we're getting there guys uh, I'm done for tonight, but uh, I'll continue the video on tomorrow, and uh, we'll plumb in uh, the rest of these buckets. So we'll uh, we'll talk to you then. Okay, my friends, uh, I've got the whole system up and running now. Um, I did add a overflow here that just goes down to this pipe, the drain pipe, just so if something were to get plugged up, it would just start flowing out here and down. Um, I may make that a bigger pipe in the future um, because it's only half inch inside diameter um, this pump can produce more water than that so if this pipe got plugged I definitely want uh, you know to be able to know that this water is just going to be carried away so I may move up to a one inch or something like that and uh, and that way there's uh, more reassurance that if something does happen that it's going to be able to keep up with the overflow but uh, you know there, there shouldn't be any reason that would plug but you just never know right so you always want redundancy or you know you always want some kind of backup system so um, so yeah all the buckets now I uh, the next step is going to be to go get all the media um, need them for it so uh, I'm probably gonna test some stone at my local gravel yard here and see if uh, if any of it's inert that it, it's not gonna you know I can't have limestone and stuff like that so I got to do a vinegar test on the, the stone first to make sure that it's safe but uh, so yeah that's gonna be my next step uh, I am still missing eight valves down there so they just have elbows on them right now just to get the water to go the full distance and it all works great so yeah so uh, that's gonna be the it or that's gonna be it for this video um, I appreciate all you guys checking out my videos um, there's gonna be a lot more aquaponic videos coming uh, there'll also be some build videos and other stuff I like to keep my channel you know pretty broad so um, but I am I am extremely happy with uh, the way everything's coming now and it's just a matter of uh, getting the, the stone in there and then uh, we can start uh, growing so I've got a bunch of plants already started, all the ones for the aquaponics are started, and a bunch for here are started. So um, we're just kind of waiting for the weather to get a little nicer. Uh, we're in the middle of April now, and uh, it, it's been cold. We've had snow several times. They're calling for six inches, 15 centimeters of snow tomorrow. So there's just, you know, nothing we can do. And I am heating with a little propane heater in here just to try to keep the chill off so none of my pipes freeze and stuff. But, uh, so that's my goal today is I'm gonna go out and see if I can find some stone for this. And uh, that will be a separate video and we'll go into planting and all of that stuff. So, um, yeah, please remember to subscribe and you know, you'll get all my new updates. And if you click the little bell beside the subscription button, uh, you'll get a notification when I do post a new video. 
and uh, please share my videos and tell your friends about you know this aquaponic system and you know maybe it's something somebody else might be interested in as well so uh, I just want to thank you guys all again and we'll talk to you all soon have a great day